All right, guys, kind of a surprise video today. Wasn't expecting to um, have this happen, but the baby Jack got moved into this tank so I can have his tank because somebody dropped off um, eight yellow lab cichlids and I'm gonna try to breed them. So um, two of them are going to a friend um, because I only requested the six for breeding and setting up a colony and he had extras. Buddy, get out of there. Sorry, the boys are helping slash not helping with this one. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna set up this tank for breeding and it's gonna be super simple. So really all I have is a sand substrate because they're gonna wanna dig and a bunch of flat rocks that I picked at the lake last year and let them sit for an entire year outside. So they got sun bleached and then they got snow that wasn't done on purpose. I was just gonna rinse them off with a garden hose and let them bleach in the sun on hot blacktop for a day to really kill anything that's on there and let them get nice and dry. But um, then the snow came and I was waiting for it to melt because we usually have one good melt in the beginning of the year. Never melted. Excuse my messy floor, by the way. Never melted, so I just snow blowed around them all winter long and just got them today finally. So basically what we wanna do is set it up so that there's places between rocks to hide and places for them to like dig pits under rocks. So the two big round rocks here are gonna go on either end kind of in a way where they can dig out underneath them. And the flat rocks are just gonna get leaned in ways that there's caves and it's as simple as that. And then we'll acclimate them and put them in just because that's fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this scaped and show you what I'm thinking here. And then I'll kind of explain what I did again and we'll talk about why I did it. And um, that'll be a wrap on this very quick video that's as much of a surprise to me as it as it is to you all right so here's what i've built here and um i'll explain to you why so with these cichlids they like to spawn in caves and they like to be able to dig out sand in their own sand pits so the rocks that i felt safe enough stacking that were sturdy enough i stacked to make caves the rocks i didn't feel were sturdy enough like this one and this one to make caves with I put in deep patches of sand so they can burrow down underneath them if they want to and they'll reorganize the sand in this whole thing and make huge pits it's kind of cool um, and so they're gonna want to go in there to kind of make a nest to spawn and then the female will take the eggs and hold them until they become um, big enough fry actually in her mouth it's called holding their um, mouth brooding and once they're ready to start free swimming, she'll spit them. But that's when I'm going to intercept them and probably pull them to a different tank to raise them. Um, but that's a story for a different time. So yeah, this is how I'm going to escape this tank. Um, looks really kind of plain and boring, but it's actually very purpose built and um, done very specifically. So it's a super quick video. Hopefully you learned something from it. I mean, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, We'll spend the rest of this video acclimating these cichlids, letting them go and watching them swim because that's just kind of fun. And we'll see. I bet they'll go and hide. So I'm going to start a drip, a drip acclimation for them with a water line to fill up the bucket. And um, they haven't been in the bucket very long. And I, I trust this. Like as a friend of mine, I trust his water source. It's the same water source as mine. So I'm just going to dump the whole thing in here. And we'll watch them go and we'll have some fun. So I'll check in with you while I'm uh, doing my water siphon here. All right. So the fish are ready to go in. I used a process that I just called drip acclimating. Um, I've showed it in depth a little more in other videos, so I kind of skipped that process here. Basically, you take airline and use it as a siphon the same way you would as like with a gravel vac to just drip water in here because if you use your gravel vac, you'll introduce them to way too much water way too fast. But if you use an airline, the flow is so little that you can kind of slowly add little, little amounts and make it a small change for them with temperature pH, hardness, whatever the difference is. Like I said, my big deal with these guys was that it was temperature because um, I know the water sources are the same, mine and where they came from. Um, so I really could have, I guess, put them in the bag like they did with these two that are going to a different home and um, just done it that way. But I figured, yeah, they're an ice cream pail on the floor and underneath the tank, might as well drip them. So I'll go ahead and pour this whole thing in and we'll see where these guys go. It should be kind of Kind of fun to see here. I'm gonna stand up when I do it so that I can see them going in. Try to just hold my camera steady. And there's our six. They have some growing out to do. 
but let's see where they go. Did I do a good job? And just like that, if you back up, you can hardly see any of them in the whole tank other than the bottom. So that tells me that what I did was the right move. This is what they wanted, so. All right guys, so well, um, that's how I would escape a uh, Ambuna cichlid tank, especially the yellow labs. And here's our new grow outs to grow out and breed. So follow along with the channel, please like and subscribe and uh, ring that notification bell if you wanna follow along with these guys and all the other fun projects we do here. Um, and uh, as always, you can follow us on TikTok at Up North Aquatics or uh, join our Facebook group. It's just called Aquarium Advice and Adventures. Let's talk fish and let's have some fun. So that's it for now, guys. Um, thanks for following along and uh, thanks for stopping by.